Hey there! Today we have another 2 mod episode featuring stock alike station parts and near future construction. Now both these mods are made by one of the finest KSP modders out there in my opinion. Nerd's body of work is truly impressive and near future construction is just one of a cohesive group of mods called near future technologies. The reason we're looking at these two mods in particular is that they're a great way to expand your station building options. So before we take a close look at these parts, let's do our install. So with CCAN open, we'll do a quick search by mod author. And as you can see here, there's near future construction and stock alike station parts expansion. So we're going to pick both of those and we'll have a quick look at the relationships for dependencies. Uh, near future construction depends on interstellar fuel switch, which is fine and community resource pack also uh, not a concern and stock alike station parts requires module manager which we've seen a number of times and near future IVA props so these are both okay so let's apply the changes there's a number of additional optional suggested mods here but we won't select any of these All right, so with that done, let's uh, make sure we're good to go here. We have stock like station parts and near future construction. So let's go have a look in game. All right, guys, let's go into the VAB and have a look at these parts. All right, so the first thing to look at is the station cores. So you have a couple options here. You have a 2.5 meter station core and you also have a 1.25 meter core. Now both of these have reaction wheels and SAS so they allow you to run autonomous stations or bases obviously without the use of Kerbals. The third and final part here in the pods section is a PXL-9 which is essentially a 3.75 meter cupola with an attachment node on the top. So you can see they're very nicely modeled, it does have lights just a uh, just a great great little model overall now the remainder of the parts uh, in the stock lake station expansion pack as well as near future construction are going to be found in the structural and utilities tab but for the sake of this video I decided to uh, to throw together a little fake agency here with all the parts in them just to isolate them and make it a little bit easier to show to you guys so let's start by looking at the 1.25 meter parts. So we'll bring the core out again and then we'll start with the pressurized crew tubes. So there's a couple of these. They come in a, in a longer version as well as a shorter version which is the same size as the stock fuselage. So uh, you can see they're very nicely modeled pipes on one side, uh, observation windows on the other. They both have, uh, they both have lights. So just uh, very nice models. I think they're, uh, as the name says, stock alike. I think they're very stock alike. Next we have a new six point hub, which again continues with that white gray kind of stock alike look and feel. I think it looks better than the stock one myself. So I use this one uh, quite a bit. Next up we have a Clampotron docking module you can see there's some integrated mono propellant in there. Very slick little, slick little model. We'll attach that there. There's also a observation window. Very simple, very simple little model. Sticks on there like so. Just a great little end piece, and it does have uh, lights as well. Next up, we do have a very nicely modeled service airlock. Just uh, get this attached properly. There we go. So again, beautiful modeling. 
I, I just love that and it's a great little airlock it holds uh, holds one Kerbal allowing you to uh, to move your Kerbal around your station now the last of the 1.25 meter parts to show is just a very simple radial attachment point so it's a short little pressurized piece allowing you to attach other items so that is basically it for the 1.25 meter parts switching now to the 2.5 meter parts let's start by dropping the station core there and having a look at the equivalent pressurized crew tubes for the 2.5 meter size we have both a long and a short version and again just uh, just beautifully modeled ladders running up one side pipes running up the other with observation windows of course they light up beautiful models we also have a shanty habitation module this particular module holds six kerbals so obviously more than the hitchhiker the stock hitchhiker very nicely modeled the next part we'll look at is the six point hub I love this I love this hub it's a beautiful part a little triangular windows light up in, in all the corners uh, which I really like it looks great in space and again the same coloring as as the rest of the model so uh, really makes a cohesive look throughout as with the 1.25 meter version there is a clampotron senior docking module here with integrated mono propellant as well there is a evac u8 service airlock so this is a very slick part uh, i quite like this part get it attached there so you can see not only is there an airlock and and uh, what appears to be some uh, some storage containers here but this part also has an animation for a docking port so if we extend that you can see the docking port uh, come out the top very slick I love that love that part and again as with the 1.25 meter there is also an equivalent radial attachment port simple part the next thing we'll look at is a couple adapters there is a there is a longer adapter which has integrated lights it takes you from 2.5 to 1.25 and then there is a flat version of the adapter which uh, again 2.5 to 1.25 but uh, flat version no lights nothing like that the final piece that we'll want to look at is the observation module. It's got 2.5 meter uh, base, but you can see it extends out quite a bit larger than that. Gray model, just beautiful with the lights on. It really lights up your station, and it's uh, it's just uh, another another wonderfully modeled part. Now let's have a look at the 3.75 meter parts, but we will start with a 2.5 meter station core. And then we'll make the transition using this, uh, this adapter. As you can see, it's a relatively flat uh, model, but, uh, but beautifully modeled. Makes for a nice transition to the 3.75 meter parts. And the first of those that we'll look at is the PXL-1 Hostel. It's a deep space habitation module and holds eight Kerbals. So very large, uh, again, as with all these parts, very beautifully modeled. Next, we will have a look at the pressurized conical storage container. Interesting, called the storage container, but it does hold four Kerbals as well. So very nice and useful part for your bases. Just line up the ladders there matches matches perfectly and finally we have a part that we already looked at earlier it is your sort of large cupola and maybe what we'll do just to make that look a little better is again use another adapter there we go so there you have your 3.75 meter parts very nicely done 
So guys, the remainder of the parts that we're looking at here are from near future construction. So there's a variety of parts. As you can see, there's a number of uh, docking connectors. There's some, some radial adapters, which are very useful, as well as a number of engine adapters, multi-node engine adapters, uh, modeled beautifully with, with the fuel lines. Also very useful parts. But the reason I included this mod uh, in this video is for a handful of very specific parts, which we'll look at now. So let's start with a 2.5 meter core. Back out a little bit. There is some parts that just make your station look a lot sturdier, a lot more rugged. They are the pressurized uh, crew segments that are embedded in the octo girders. So if you uh, drop a couple of those on here, you can see they're kind of the, the same pressurized crew tubes that we looked at earlier, but they're, uh, they're embedded in, in, those, uh, in those octo girders. All the same modeling, uh, but it just makes your station look a lot more rugged, a lot stronger. Um, one thing you'll notice here is the transition from the 2.5 meter round to the octo doesn't really look the best but he has created a part for that. There's a pressurized adapter and a non-pressurized version, but in this case, we will use the pressurized adapter. And it makes that transition from the round to the octo, uh, while at the same time, not breaking up the, the pressurized segments of the station. So it just looks, uh, just looks great, I love it. And there's also a pressurized and non-pressurized version of the octo girder hub so when you put that on there again you see it all flows looks great and from there you can just continue on adding more and more segments to your station the other parts that i'll show here there are also multi-purpose octo girders both long and short as well as hollow versions When you attach those and you right click you can see they have variants so when you go to the next part variant we get into the fuel storage now we have monoprop and electrical xenon etc uh, etc et now some of these the argon liquid hydrogen etc those are not useful for your stock engines if you do have near future propulsion installed which is another of the mods in this pack, then, uh, then of course there's engines there that burn these fuels. But they're certainly still very useful for, for stock. In this case, I'll leave the monoprop and, and electrical. And then another very cool piece is the radial attachment, the octo girder radial attachment. That allows you to just snap on to the side of one of these octo girders and continue your construction. Out perpendicular from where you just were. And then you can do whatever you want there. Put another monoprop and electric storage container there. So those are the parts I think that just go beautifully with the stock lake station part expansion. I think these parts are just wonderful. They make your stations, especially large stations, a lot more rigid. They look a lot stronger. Uh, they're, they're just beautiful. And I can show you a quick comparison of a couple little stations. Uh, one built with just all the stock pieces and one built with a couple of these uh, near future construction parts. So let's go have a look at that now. All right, so as you can see, we have a simple little station here. It's got the science lab at the bottom, a cupola at the top, and a couple hitchhikers. But it's all based around the stock hub and the stock uh, fuselage parts. Now with near future construction, on the other hand, you have a station that looks a lot more robust. So again, it's basically the same station, science lab at the bottom, cupola at the top, couple hitchhikers on the ends 
but based around the 2.5 meter hub and the octo girder crew tubes I mean which of these two stations would you feel more comfortable in I can tell you for me it's definitely this one just a uh, just a beautiful station beautiful octo girders making everything nice and rigid nice and strong I mean this station is uh, is fit for a king well that's it for this episode guys I hope these mods have given you some ideas for the next station you're gonna build or your next base so go download these mods for your game and we'll see you in the next episode take care